Hey, what's up everyone? Today I've got a quick video guide for you on how to make Pro Evolution Soccer 21 or Football Life look a lot better. I see people complaining about grainy graphics or the game looking like it runs on low resolution or something, so let's fix that. We are going to tweak NVIDIA settings to get the best visuals possible. Now obviously this is still Pro Evolution Soccer 21, a game built in 2019, so don't expect it to suddenly look like a 2025 release. But with the right settings, it will be crisper, sharper and way cleaner, especially at higher resolutions. By the way, I've been dropping a lot of videos on football games, especially Pro Evo 21, so if that's your thing, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. Oh, and just a heads up, this guide is for NVIDIA graphics card users. I've never owned an AMD card, so I have no clue how to tweak those settings there. So if you are on AMD, well, good luck. Alright, let's get into it. First, we are going to adjust some settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Right click on your desktop and select NVIDIA control panel. Go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure use the advanced 3D image settings is enabled. Now let's fine tune some game specific settings. Head to manage 3D settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Then switch to program settings and click add. Find the PES 21 EXE file that you use to launch the game. If you are using Fanorex or Megapatch, it will be PES 2021 EXE. Oh, and if you are on laptop, you will see an option to choose which graphics card to use for the game. Make sure to select your dedicated NVIDIA card. Otherwise, the game might default to your weaker integrated graphics and you will get a laggy and unplayable mess. At this point, you could start tweaking different values and settings to fine-tune Pro Evolution Soccer 21 visuals and performance. But we are not stopping here. Next, we are using a tool with even more advanced options to make the game look even better. So, next up, we are using a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You will find a download link in the video's description. This tool lets us tweak advanced settings for specific games. It's a bit more detailed than NVIDIA's control panel. So first, install the program and launch it. At the top, find the list of profiles and select eFootball 2021. If you don't see it, click Create New Profile, name it whatever you want, and move on. Now add your PES 21EXE file to this profile and not to the global profile, that's important. For me, like I mentioned earlier, it's PES 2021EXE file. With the correct profile selected and the game's EXE added, you will see a bunch of settings. What you want to do right now is match them to what I'm showing you on the screen. See, I've tested different setups and this one gives me the best balance of performance and visuals. Now, keep in mind, these settings might impact performance depending on your PC. If you notice low FPS or weird visual glitches or something, feel free to tweak things to your personal liking. There are plenty of guides online explaining what each NVIDIA setting does and I've linked one in the description that I found particularly useful. Once you are happy with the settings, click Apply Changes and that's it for NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Now, let's make sure Pro Evo own settings are set up properly as well. So, before we are launching the game, we go to PES21 game folder where you install the game and then open Settings EXE. What we want to do here is set full screen and select our desired resolution, probably the highest one you can play on your monitor. Then you want to disable VSync. I found that the in-game VSync causes more issues actually than it fixes. Instead, we have already set VSync in NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which works better than this one here. Oh, and if your controller is not working properly, check the controller tab in settings.exe, make sure your game is using the correct controller. Ok, done. Now launch the game. In the main menu, go to System Settings, and then Video Settings. For best visuals, select High Graphics Quality. 
If your PC struggles, then you can lower it, but of course that will come with cost of graphical quality in the game. Now, one final step is to install Reshade. Reshade is a tool that adds visual effects and filters to make the game look even better. I won't go over the installation process here, since I've already covered it in my previous PES21 guides. If you need help with installation process for Reshade, then check the links in the video description. I have included timestamps, so you can jump straight to the setup part for the Reshade. I also highly recommend trying my Reshade preset for Pro Evo 21. I think it makes the game look way, way more lifelike, with better colors and improved lighting effects. And that's it. Your Pro Evolution Soccer 21 or Football Live should now look a whole lot better. To quickly sum up, we optimized NVIDIA control panel settings. We also set up NVIDIA Profile Inspector for more control over our graphics. Then we tweaked PES21 in-game settings. And lastly, we added Reshade for that final visual boost. If you found this video guide helpful, drop a like, it really helps me out. And if you want more football gaming content, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Anyway, that's all from me in this video. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one.